So I've got the rack on and I can see the gear is activated as it spins. So now it's time to just attach on the parts to automate the motor. So I've got an example here. You get a rack and you get these two peripherals and it slides over the motor like that. And then as the motor slides the gate, for example, closed, it hits that nozzle and it knows it will stop around there. And when it's opening up, or in this case closing, you hit that nozzle and you'll know to stop there. So I'll give it a rough estimate and then I'll start programming the motor and then I'll adjust it after we give it a go. So let me just plug this in. This is going to close around here and when it opens, it's going to slide like that. And when it hits that guy, that's when it should be fully open. Again, I know that it's not 100% perfect. I just want to see if I can program the motor. So let's open this up and get inside. So I believe that's the setup button there. There you go. English. Direction. Left. Preset is automatic residential. Just one thing to note about the different modes. So you've got automatic residential. That means when you open the gate, it will automatically close after 10 seconds. Semi-automatic means it will automatically open and you have to press the button to have it close. And commercial, I don't know, I haven't tried those yet. Probably it operates faster. Yo. And programming, I'm gonna say auto. And it should start moving. That's pretty cool. So it's managed to do it on those presets. So it pretty much just touches the blades and stops within touching the blades. So it does it a few times just to confirm. And so all I need to do now is just adjust the wings to make sure that it's precisely closed in the right point. But it pretty much just as soon as it flicks, as soon as it just touches that, it goes on a 45 degrees, that's when it stops. So that should be pretty fun to adjust. All right, we are officially done. Check it out. Opens and closes really well. The only thing left to do is just to install the catchers, this guy. But look at it there, the gate is open and best thing about it is when I close it, look, it's hopefully, I'm betting it's gonna line up right in the middle. Boom, three, two, one, come on. There you go, that is looking gorgeous. So yeah, nice solid gate, been unprofessionally installed. Pretty, pretty fun project, I gotta say. I'm gonna go ahead and just add some more screws in just to make the, the rack and the track fully hard and finish off with the catcher, but that is it. We've officially installed our sliding gate and our little bolt on extension is working well. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Thank you.